hello everyone so till now so you have learned about the concept called single phase ac circuits okay that is in the previous chapter so in the module 1 in the module 1 so we have discussed about uh, dc circuits and the fundamentals of ac ac in the second module so we have discussed about ac circuits in the same module so you have another chapter called three phase circuits so you need to understand the necessity of three phase three phase supply right and uh, so remember uh, the earliest uh, applications uh, of uh, the single phase ac system was used to uh, heating the filament okay the earliest application of single phase ac system was used to was uh, used to heating the filament uh, uh, that means heating the filament of an electric lamp right so that means for lighting purposes and after some years uh, these ac motors were developed okay so after some years ac motors were developed and so these motors like these motors efficiency were not satisfactory with single phase system or single phase supply single phase power supply so here so and uh, it was found that instead of having a single winding or single coil to generate a single phase power supply so it found that three three windings or the three coils okay three coils could be considered three coils could be considered so that the efficiency the efficiency of the ac motor so uh, can be increased right and even along with the efficiency the power factor of the ac motor could be increased right so this is the necessity of three phase system okay or the three phase supply because you have seen in the previous session that is generation of an alternating quantity so uh, we were having a single coil okay to generate a single phase single phase uh, uh, ac right so single phase ac means so you will be having only one this alternating quantity of course this will be uh, continuous and similarly instead of having instead of having a single winding or the single coil so here we can have three windings or the three coils to generate to generate more power and which is suitable for which is suitable for these ac motors okay next we shall see uh, some of the advantages of three phase system or three phase circuits over single phase system so these are some of the advantages of three phase system over single phase system okay so in the first case so three phase transmission lines right so three phase transmission lines require much less conductor material okay so which which requires very less conductor material and in the second case you can see three phase machine gives a higher output that means uh, at a given frame size at a given frame size three phase machines gives a higher output higher output means that is better efficiency and in the third point so you can see the sum of the power remains constant so as you have already observed in single phase power the single phase power pulsates at twice the line frequency okay so uh, we have derived the expression in a uh, single phase uh, circuit that is a power expression so finally power expression we get in terms of that is sin 2 omega so to sin 2 omega t right so finally we get the average power as in different form that is uh, vi cos phi or vi but so when we consider the instantaneous power so we get we get in terms of 2 omega so what is the meaning of 2 omega so that means the power in a single phase single phase circuits okay so pulsates at twice the line frequency but in three phase so the sum of the power remains constant this is one more uh, the main advantage of advantage advantage of three phase circuits and so here the so three phase uh, circuits so or three phase system used to supply domestic as well as as well as for industrial power okay the application so if we consider the applications of these three phase system or three phase circuit so which is used to supply domestic as well as for industrial purposes and in the last case 
And the last point, the voltage regulation is better. So the points which we are considering, the points which are which we are considering are the advantages of three-phase circuits over single phase. So in the last case, you can see the voltage regulation is better than single phase system. So these are the advantages of three-phase circuit. So now you have learnt about the necessity of three phase system or three phase power and the advantages of three phase systems over single phase system. Okay. So next uh, uh, we will move on to uh, the topic called the generation of three phase system or three phase power or we also call it as three phase EMF like voltage. Right. So generation of three phase EMF and remember in a short form so we also we can also represent it in this form. So 3 and this phi. So phi can be considered as phase. So three phase power or three phase EMF. Okay. So here and the electrical machines, the electrical machine so which generates which generates three phase supply or three phase EMF is also called as alternator. So remember the electrical machine which generates three phase okay three phase EMF or power is also called as alternator okay and so here this circuit or uh, this system the three, three phase uh, the circuit or the system consists of stationary stator so which houses the armature coil so which consists of two parts one is stationary stator stationary stator which houses the armature coil and the rotating rotor rotating rotor uh, for which the coils are wound Okay, so here as I have indicated it consists of two parts one is stator and the rotor part. So here of course this is the stationary part and these are the magnets are stationary and this is the rotating part. So where you can see the different or the three coils and here so you can see in this particular figure because the similar similar uh, kind of figure you have seen or uh, you have observed in the generation of alternating quantity. But there we have considered only a single coil or a single conductor. So single coil, so but here instead of having a single coil in a single phase, so here to generate a three phase, to generate a three phase power or EMF, so you can see or we are going to have three different coils where the three coils are indicated as R, one end as R and another end as R dash. So you can observe one end as R and another end as R dash and so here and you can also observe another coil so which are named as B and B dash and the one more coil we have so which are named as Y and Y dash. Now there are three coils now there are three coils so R and R dash then Y and this Y dash next B and B dash. So now you can see three coils R, R dash, Y, Y dash and B, B dash which are wound on rotor with a space displacement of 120 degree okay with a space displacement so which are placed here with a displacement of 120 degree so you can just observe so one coil is placed at this point and so there is a 120 degree 120 degree uh, difference between this R, R dash with B and B dash you can just observe here. So R is the initial point and you can see the next initial point which is placed at this here that is B and B dash and this with the space displacement of 120 degree and from B to this Y you can just observe from B to Y again it is 120 degree okay because other end is denoted as Y dash but here so we do not consider this one here so we consider the space displacement between this R to R to B which is 120 which is 120 degree. The rotor is rotating in clock that is counterclockwise direction ok. So you know that you know how exactly it rotates already I have explained you in the generation of a single phase uh, uh, single phase alternating quantity as you have already learnt in a single phase so the rotor rotates in rotates in counterclockwise direction counterclockwise direction with a uniform magnetic field and with a uniform angular speed omega with a uniform angular speed and also with uniform magnetic field. So here uh, an EMF will be induced in each coil in each coil due to the mutually induced EMF due to the mutually induced EMF so between the 
rotating rotor so remember between the rotating rotor and the stator so based on this based on this so we will obtain we will obtain the alternating quantity in this form so if three coils are identical if three coils are identical so we get three emfs over here three emfs with a constant constant magnitude and the constant frequency but with the displacement with the uh, space with the displacement of 120 degree okay so now so you can just observe here so if three coils that means this r r dash y y dash and b b dash if the three coils are identical we get three emfs so you can just observe in this waveform so we get three emfs with the constant magnitude and constant frequency but with the difference of 120 degree or with the delay of 120 degree so you can just observe the first waveform here the first waveform and which is represented as small e r so small e r always a small e so when do we use whenever we represent the instantaneous voltage instantaneous emf so and this is obtained this er waveform is obtained from the coil this r r dash and similarly the next coil the next waveform which is ey okay so instantaneous emf and which is obtained with the help of this y y dash coil and you can see the uh, difference here so the next the, the next waveform starts at this 120 degree and that is that, that means there is a 120 degree delay between the first emf and the second emf because even here also so you can see the space displacement of 120 degree and the next one that is eb so which is obtained the instantaneous instantaneous emf which is obtained with the coil of this b b dash so you can see three waveforms here or three instantaneous voltage or emf with the constant magnitude and constant frequency but with the 120 degree delay okay and now we can also have this representation vector representation so you can just observe here so one is em which is the constant magnitude or the maximum uh, uh, amplitude here and which is obtained from this r and another one is y and the last one is b right so here and what is the angle difference between these three that is 120 degree so based on this we can have three equations that means er is equal to er is equal to so based on the waveform we can have equation as em which is the maximum amplitude maximum amplitude em sin omega t okay so instantaneous instantaneous emf emf for this r can be obtained as em sin omega t and similarly ey is equal to em sin omega t minus 120 because there is a my there is a there is a delay delay of 120 degree with respect to with respect to this er equation so we get em sin omega t minus 120 120 degree and ey and the next one is eb eb is equal to em sin sin omega t minus because always we need to consider with respect to the reference one so em sin omega t minus 240 okay so there is a delay there is a delay between this ey and er that is of 120 degree and from eb to eb to er so we have 120 plus 120 so we have minus 240 and the same expression can be rewritten as or can also be expressed as em sin omega t plus 120 okay so both are same so we can express either omega t minus 240 or we can also express the same equation as omega t plus 120 so now we have three equations one is er ey and eb okay so now we have learnt about the generation of three phase emf or three phase power 
So, and based on this equation, the equations which we have obtained, that is ER, instantaneous EMF, like ER, EY and EB. So, you have uh, another derivation is called the sum of the instantaneous values. So, the sum of the instantaneous values. Instantaneous values means the equation which we have derived just now. Instantaneous values of three EMFs, of course, of three EMFs at any instant, at any instant is zero. Now we need to prove this statement. So the sum of the instantaneous values of EMF, three EMFs. So what are three EMFs here? So we had ER, EY plus this EB, right? So these are the three EMFs. And when you add all three EMFs, the sum of the instantaneous values of three EMFs at any instant, at any instant is zero. So we need to prove that so when we add these three and at any instant, so it must be equal to zero. So we need to prove this equation at any instant of time. So remember at any instant of time, so we need to prove this equation. And initially to start with, so we need to uh, substitute these equations. So you know that ER is equal to EM sin omega t, omega t plus EM sin omega t minus 120 okay plus em sin omega t so for eb so we have or uh, for eb so we have equation called em sin omega t mi uh, minus 240 but instead of minus 240 i'm going to substitute this as plus 120 plus 120 so we have this equation and in this particular equation, this particular equation, so at any instant of time, so at any instant of time, so you need to prove that this is equal to 0. How can we do, do that? So at any instant of time means, so we can have any value of t. Initially, let us prove this equation considering t is equal to 0. So at t is equal to 0, what happens here? So em, em sin, so omega t, that means sin 0. So plus EM sin omega, so of course, so when T is equal to 0, so you get minus 120 plus EM sin and this part becomes 0, so we get plus 120, right? And sin 0 is 0, okay? So sin 0 is 0 and so here we have EM sin minus 120 plus em sin plus 120 so what happens so when these two these two terms gets cancelled finally you get zero so now we shall see so what happens at any instant of time okay except t is equal to zero so again i am rewriting this equation so em sin omega t plus em sin omega t minus 120 plus em sin omega t plus 120 okay so now i'm going to expand this equation em sin omega t plus now it is in the form of sin of a minus b so what is sin of a minus b sin of a minus b is nothing but sin a that is sin omega t cos b that is cos 120 okay minus minus cos a which is cos omega t and sin b which is sin 120 right 120 so we have just expanded this particular equation plus so plus em now i am going to expand this equation which is again sin of a plus b is sin a sin b plus cos a cos b so sin of omega t cos 120 plus plus cos omega t sin 120 okay it is a single equation now, so you can just observe, so we have EM sin omega t 
cos 120 and minus em cos omega t sin 120. So here we have plus cos omega t sin 120 and minus cos omega t sin 120. So what happens this plus and minus term gets cancelled and so we can have another equation as em. I am taking em common from the whole equation. So we get sin omega t, I am writing this sin omega t, sin omega t plus plus sin omega t cos 120, sin omega t cos 120 plus sin omega t cos 120, it becomes 2 sin omega t cos 120. Okay. So further we can have the expression as so let me write sin omega t as it is plus so 2 sin omega t 2 sin omega t and what is cos 120 cos 120 is minus 1 by 2 so it is minus 1 by 2 right and so here 2 and 2 gets cancelled so finally we have sin omega t minus sin omega t. So plus sin omega t minus sin omega t. So these two terms gets cancelled we get 0. So finally, finally we get 0. So we have also proved that we have also proved the statement that is the sum of instantaneous instantaneous values of 3 emf at any time at any instant which is equal to 0. So in the first case we have considered t is equal to 0 and in the next case we have considered at any instant of time okay which is also 0. Next we shall move on to different types of circuits in three phase system okay that is using three phase supply. So of course you have only two circuits in this syllabus one is star connection and another one is delta connection. So now you can just observe these two figures. So one is the star connection, the first one is star connection and another one is delta connection. So in the star connection you can just observe, so these three impedances are connected in the form of star and here in delta connection, so these three, these three impedances are connected in the form of delta. So star means it is something like this, that is star and delta is this. Okay. If the impedances are arranged in the star form, so we call it a star circuit and if the impedances are arranged in delta, in delta form we call it as delta circuit and here so we have three impedances and all the three impedances are connected to three phase supply. So we have seen a single phase supply or single phase AC circuit but here you can just observe so we have three impedances and which are connected which are connected to three phase supply. Even similarly in delta connection also we have z1 z2 z3 and these three connections are given to three phase supply so we have two terms one is balanced three phase supply so the three phase supply is balanced so when the three phase supply is said to be balanced when that is when the three emfs when the three emfs have the same same magnitude and the same frequency but with 120 degree difference that is nothing but the balanced three phase supply and we have also uh, we have one more term called balanced load what is this balanced load when the three loads because these impedances we call it as loads when these three loads are equal when these three loads are equal either in the star connection or in delta connection when the three loads are equal we call it as balanced load okay and when these loads are different then we call it as unbalanced load so remember balanced load means three loads are same so unbalanced means three loads are different so loads in the form of impedances so in unbalanced circuit so example for example for unbalanced is we can have only resistor at this point and we can have only inductance similarly we can have only capacitance we can have only capacitance or else so here the loads are different loads are entirely different so when the loads are different in three phase circuits we call it as unbalanced load so in the next session so we will discuss about we will discuss about the relationship between the star circuit and delta circuit in the form of power voltage and current thank you <laughs>